So I was thinking about different videos I should do for today. And as I was using better, you guys uh, may know that I took a suggestion in the last video, which was literally like a month ago. Man, that's so long. Anyway, I took a suggestion, and uh, it was a, uh, for another compilation uh, of meme uh, compilations. You guys know I did two, version f uh, 42 and version 52. Um, that's so good saying that. <laughs> well, anyway, I told him that I might do something uh, about uh, the five worst Disney movie trailers of all time. Because the Frozen 2 official trailer came out a few days ago. And I thought that was like one of the most underwhelming and kind of cringiest trailers I've ever seen for Disney and Disney animated movies. But uh, I couldn't find something about the five worst Disney movie trailers. So I wanted to see something that that was at least kind of uh, uh, similar to... Uh, um, Say damn it, the uh, the top uh, like the like the worst Disney movies because you know trailers are for movies. And I saw this video here right here from Kmac Time. Sorry if I said that wrong. It's called the top ten worst Disney movies of all time. So we are going to watch this, and uh, and I hope I'm not uh, biased in uh, any of my opinions because I might share my opinions. I might disagree with some of these because, you know, obviously I've watched Disney for years. And, uh, the only, and if there's a film I like, I might, I might still watch it just for fun. But, uh, obviously, there's some movies that I don't like, like the live action Aladdin. That didn't come quite through, did it? It wasn't as relevant as it needed to be. Anyway, let's get started. Top 10 worst Disney Movies of all time. Go. No wait. Disney animated cartoons and films are usually some of the best and most well done works of art, and they are typically ended up being instant classics. Yep. But over the many years that Disney has been around, they have had their fair. Like uh, the amount of years Disney has been around is almost like about like ninety five years. Like that's a lot. Air of rotten eggs. I'm your host as always, K Mac Time. It's day. Oh, K Mac Time. Okay. K Mac Time. <laughs> okay. So I did say that wrong. K Mac Time. All right. A look at the 10 worst Disney animated movies. Now, before we. Oh, sorry. <laughs> list, sorry. I want to take a second and remind you guys that this is just my own personal opinion. Keep calm. So it's just my opinion. If you don't agree with the movie or if there's some movie you think might be worse, that's completely okay. Just make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what would make your list. Anyway, starting out our list is 2004's film Home on the Range. I've Can actually never seen this, this movie one. in theaters and even at 11 years old thinking that it was a complete letdown, especially since that year, the same year, The Incredibles came out, which absolutely blew me away. Oh, so if this is Incredibles 1, okay, so Home of the Range came out in 2004. Because that's the same year The Incredibles 1 came out. This movie, however, has just the dumbest, dull plot line, and many of its jokes fail to land. And it just kind of because these awkward kind of, should you laugh, should you not laugh, but they're nah, not kind of funny. And I actually had completely forgotten about this movie until I started doing research for this video. And it's uh, so bad that I kind of wish that I had stayed that way and I just kind of forgot about it forever. But it's a solid number 10. And number nine is Chicken Little, which was released in 2005 and is best known I also for being didn't Disney's see this one. first movie done completely with computer animation. And while that's great and all, this movie itself falls short of expectations. Is that a its plotline left a lot to be desired, and its odd sense of humor failed to hit home with most audience members for the most part. Though it was a milestone movie for Disney, it is still one to just kind of skip over these days. Next up at number 8 is 2001's Atlantis The Lost Empire. The film tells the story of a young man who gains possession of a sacred book, which he believes will guide him and a crew of mercenaries to the lost city of Atlantis. And well, Okay, so I hope that uh, all these movies that, that aren't are on his list I didn't see. I hope I saw some of these movies. So I can give my actual opinion on them. Sounds pretty engaging. It turns out to be a total snooze fest. 
You never really Snooze feel any fest. kind of connection with any of the characters. And overall, the movie just falls short of Disney's high standards. It just doesn't have that spark and that magic other Disney classics seem to have. Number seven goes to The Black Cauldron, which came out way back in 1985 and was one of Disney's biggest box office flops the Black to date. Cauldron? It had a budget of just Come on, I didn't see this one either. Dollars, but only cleared $22 million in sales. There isn't much positive to say about this movie, however. It just seemed to lack the charm and fantasy that other Disney movies have, and it just fell short of expectations all around. Next at number six, we have The Sword in the Stone, which was released in 1963 and was the final Disney film before Walt Disney's death. The film is based on the novel of the same name. Huh? Didn't read the novel or, or see the film, which is pretty disappointing. It's like I wasn't, I'm not as a big Disney fan as I think I am. And I'm still Published not. in 1938. Movie plot tends to drag on and most of the characters are just forgettable. Another beautiful movie that for whatever reason just missed out on the magical Disney charm. Number five goes to Oliver and Company, which came out in 1988 and was inspired by the classic Charles Dickens novel Oliver Twist. The movie follows the character Oliver, who is a homeless kitten who joins a gang of dogs to survive in the streets of New York City. Outside of a few catchy songs, the movie seems to be one of the most forgettable and people just don't seem to remember this movie at all. The plot is okay and some of the characters showed promise, but Disney failed to bring the magic of New York City to life in this one and it really kind of fell flat. Next up at number four is Dinosaur, which was released in 2000 and uses live action and animation in combination to give a real life look. And what well, I've actually seen two movies like this and uh, like the live action and the uh, animation. Like one of them is the live action Jungle Book, which is actually really good. And the second is, um, I don't remember, but, uh, but there is another animal based movie with the same like animation live action thing, which is not this movie. So let me know in the comments if you know what that is. This was impressive back in the year 2000. It doesn't really hold up well visually these days with things like 4K and 3D cameras out there much better. On top of that, many people were turned off by the fact that dinosaurs talked. It seemed out of place because on one hand, they looked ultra realistic, but on the other hand, they talked like cartoons and it kind of gave you this weird vibe. On top of that, the movie just wasn't that great. The plot was kind of iffy and the characters were overall forgettable. It did receive a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes making it not the worst movie ever, but it's definitely one you should just skip over. Number three goes to 2007's Meet the Robinson. In this movie, Lewis is a young orphan inventor desperate to- Oh my god. I feel like such an idiot right now. Like, I've heard about this movie a lot, but I didn't see it. Like, I really need to see this movie. Like, I- Like, just, like, I- it, When I'm about to say, you might think it's like, oh, just because I saw this picture. But no, I've known about this uh, before. It's uh, it's like it's the setting about like uh, in the future with the flying jets and stuff. So like it's pretty what cool. What his mom looks like when he meant a time machine meant to help him do so. He finds himself propelled into the future with a companion, Wilbur Robinson, who then teaches him what it's like to be surrounded by people that love and appreciate you. Though many reviews of this movie. Place it somewhere in the middle of the pack in terms of Disney movies. I personally just didn't get on board with this movie. It lacked the Disney magic and charm for me. It, I just couldn't connect with this movie. Didn't really care for it. Um, for me personally, like I said, it's a lower end Disney flick. Certified on this list at number three. In our runner up spot, we have 2003's Brother Bear. This movie is mostly a life lesson on forgiveness. However, despite the typical Disney theme, didn't see this one either. The Come film on, didn't do well in terms of ratings. In fact, most critics referred to the film as lazy, unimaginative, and lackluster, coining it a disappointment in comparison to Disney's typical movies. And finally, the number one worst Disney movie of all time has to be Planes. Okay, you guys, just before I uh, see get to into this. If I, if, when, when did this video came out? In tw it came out in 2016. If it came out in 2013, like, or 2014, because 
I just because I watched planes like a month before, not month before, a month after it released, and I thought it was like the perfect movie. And I sound like an idiot to saying that, but I mean I have, but now I have mixed reviews about this movie. Like now I rarely don't see this movie anymore, and I kind of agree now, since I'm much older now. I'm thirteen, and I don't really watch and I I pick cars over planes any day because I mean come on it's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time but I mean let's hear what, what he has to say is a 2013 spin-off of the Pixar movies cars yep cars this however was not done by Disney and Pixar it was done by Disney Toon Studios and they fell well short of Pixar's high standards it received an awful 26% on Rotten Tomatoes the movie was originally planned to just be a straight-to-DVD release, but instead it was put in theaters last minute. It is speculated this was done to drum up interest in the new toy line for the Cars and Planes movies that Disney was rolling out that year. Either way, the movie was just awful and is one of the worst Disney movies to ever make it into theaters. But, like, uh, you know, before I uh, sign off here, I just want to uh, tell something very quickly. Like, this is honestly one of the funniest experiences I've ever had in my entire life. So, uh, like, almost, like, about a year after Planes came out, like, when my dad said I was going, getting, like, too old for the Cars uh, toys, and now I definitely agree, and I thank, and I thank my dad for that. So, uh, even these Planes toys. So, I was starting to buy more Planes stuff, but then I, but then when we were going to the, grocery store to find uh, to like a uh, Carrefour I think that's what it's called on the, like a local Carrefour store and then I go to the toy section you know to get some more planes and I see the Lightning McQueen RC car and then I ask my dad hey what character is this and then he says don't you remember it's Lightning McQueen and I just go ah it's been far too long childhood memories so yeah said that is just my top 10 let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about these and what are some of your least favorite disney movies of all time also make sure to hit that like button it really helps me out when you guys like and share my videos and if you guys have not seen my previous videos on the worst nickelodeon cartoons and the worst cartoon network cartoons and the best pixar movies please check all of those out links will be in the end slate and the description also if it's your first time on the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos in your sub box weekly but until next time guys remember that's always came back time somewhere take it easy and peace out okay so so there we go i uh that's what i done just now like right now i've done it but it's not like I'm, I'm saying it like it's a like landmark in history. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. And just as uh, KMAC Time said, uh, like the video and uh, subscribe for more. Uh, yeah, I gotta go upload this video before my storage runs out. So yeah, bye.